Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome. You've made it to the IPSL uh, week six slash week seven preview. I'm here with my co-host, Billy tonight. AKA Hero. Yeah, AKA Hero. How you doing? How you doing here today? Good, extremely good. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's get right into <laughs> some of the things that happened this last week. Houston Hunters <laughs> faced another or faced a loss again, and this time it was to Allen. It was a loss 3-0. Man, that was an interesting matchup, definitely. It could have gone either way. Yeah, it really could have gone either way throughout that whole match, I felt like. And then towards the end, that Kirum kind of had it, and we're going to be watching that match coming up, uh, so stay tuned for that. And then uh, let's, let's actually start from right from the beginning. Uh, Baltimore Blastoise uh, against the Royal Guard of Wars. Picked up a 6-0. 6-0 sweet. Picked up a 6-0 yeah, sweet. Yeah, placed those three spikes, didn't see Empoleon, got spikes up and swept with Rotom and Scizor. Oh my god! And then of course we, ha yeah, that was a very good matchup, by the way. Uh, good job to you uh, with the clean win on that one. Uh, and then they got my matchup, six zero against the Shilar Lucario. Yeah, I thought I had a great day until you got a six zero. You topped me. Yeah, it was really close. I don't know if I topped your six zero. I don't remember what happened to your match too much, but um, you stalled. Uh, you stalled. You stalled out the stall. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I, I I just put pressure on his team, which I wanted to do again. So in case I face him again in the playoffs, I'm ready. I'm ready to put pressure on. Uh, it's going to be interesting, for sure. Um, let's Definitely. Just do, yeah, let's just do the recap uh, for the Pelippers versus the Vancouver Venusaurs. Man, that was that was an interesting matchup, for sure. Uh, Shmebelak still uh, undefeated. Uh, man, I want him. Uh, I'm just salty. He, he still he beat me. and uh, I'll, beat, I'll beat him in two weeks. Okay. He won't be undefeated long. Yeah, we're gonna slide right along, uh, right over to the. No, I just saw that. Sorry, guys. We're gonna go to the Vermilion Pikachu's and the Aqua Jets, which is a pretty uh, interesting matchup for sure. Uh, I feel like uh, Cali Kid had that the whole time going into the match. Yeah, because Jet, well, Jet uh, didn't have much time to plan, I think. So he was already underprepared and. Look how the week's been going. The, his season's been going. Yeah, I, I don't see it getting much better going up against uh, Pokecraft Master this coming week. Uh, and then he's going to face me again, which is going to be tough. And then Alan. I and would then, just forfeit against you. Like, uh, you, you just, you, you'll just flinch him out. Maybe, maybe. Hopefully. Uh, Calling I'll, it week eight, you're flinching him out. I might try to bring some uh, interesting sets that week. Uh, just, to, just, to try, just to have a little more fun that week. But other than that, I think we got every matchup. Uh, we're going to look at some Week 7 matchups now. Uh, Baltimore Blasters face off against Houston Honchcrows. Interesting. Interesting. I may be at a disadvantage, but I think I got this one. I Honestly, I think I got this one with my plan. That's interesting. I might I, I might look into helping uh, Jay out this weekend with his team building. At, just helping him out, maybe battling him once or twice. Uh, so Jay, just, bring Salamence. Uh, Bring Salomon's Jay, please. <laughs> yeah, that's a big matchup for Jay. That's a huge matchup for Jay, especially in the tough um, division he's in right now. Moving right yeah, along. Yeah, he needs we're, a win. Yeah, we're gonna go right on I ahead. Need it more. We're gonna go right on ahead to the uh, Cal Cali Kid in my matchup in the week seven. That's gonna be interesting. Last week uh, I got kind of. I mean, when I placed him, um, played him um, in week two, it was an interesting win definitely because I did uh, hacks out of my Lodic, which was a big problem for my team. I really had nothing to deal with it. It was good that uh, Jirachi yeah. was able to take care of that real quick and with with the, with a few Iron Heads. Uh, so that's gonna be tough. That's gonna be a tough matchup. He is a very good, uh, solid team actually, Cali Kid. I don't know if we kind of underestimated it, but it's really good with Karen Black and uh, some other hit, big hitters, Rapid Spin and Excadrill and whatnot. It's gonna be it's gonna be scary for sure. Alright, moving right along to the New York Pelippers, which is always big because we want them to lose. Jk, uh, we don't want them to win. We uh, face off against stuff. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we is don't it, want that. Is it the same difference? Same difference. Yeah, same difference. But uh, the New York Pelippers facing Allen. This is gonna be tough this week. Shmebelak was able to pick up the 3-0 victory against him, but I don't know if we will do it again because of of course Allen has been um, doing pretty well. Doing recently. better at least. Yeah. yeah. Uh, mm, honestly, I want Allen to lose. Really? Can I hear why? Reason why? why? So he doesn't catch up to me. Oh, and that's an interesting, interesting. Yeah, it's just point. in case if I lose to Jay, I don't want Allen tied with me. Yeah, I definitely understand that. 
I'm going to run along. We're going to go to one of the more interesting matchups, which I feel like could be an upset this week. Uh, Vancouver Venusaurs face off the Royal Gardevoirs. I feel like maybe a jam could squeeze this one out. Well, I'm, 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 I'm team building with Word Guild this week. Oh, so maybe not. I'm just kidding. All right. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. All right. Uh, yeah, that could go you either sure way. About that? Yeah, that could go either way, especially uh, looking at that matchup. Uh, definitely feel like it could go either way. But uh, Shalor Licario is facing against Vermilion Pikachu's uh, Jets versus Jan. The Jets are going to win. Are you serious? They're going to get a 6-0 sweep. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Now, okay, they're not getting a 6-0 sweep. They'll get like a 3-0. All right. I'm you, calling it. I'm, I'm going with the underdog this time. Just watch. You've heard it here. It's going to be the biggest upset. You've heard it here. You've hit it here, guys. It's going to be the biggest upset. Jets is going to win this one. Just if you don't win, Hero's not going to be on the post uh, show next week. JK. <laughs> All right. Yeah, um, no, no. I, I, I'll quit the league if Jet doesn't win. Okay. We're, we're holding you to that. We're holding you to that. Yeah, it's my career. It's like, you better win. It's my career on the line. <laughs> this man doesn't know what he's talking about. All right. Uh, we're going <laughs> right, to we're, we're, we're go. Okay, that was Okay, we're going to go. We're going to go right over to uh, Mega Lopunny. I uh, still at the top of the KO chart. It, like, honestly, it's whoever's fighting for second place. <laughs> like, no one's going to catch up to Lopunny. So, Scissor, it's pretty much whoever can take Scissor's spot. Yeah, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough for uh, Mega Lopunny to beat this return. Especially sitting at that clean on 12 KOs in six weeks. That's pretty uh, impressive stuff right there. But uh, like, I feel like I could be using it a little like bit better. Like, my Rotom. My Rotom has the most kills out of my team. It could get a 6-0 sweep, and it still wouldn't be close to Lopunny. Yeah, you're right. You're right. That's interesting. All right, uh, we're going to move right along. We're going to see if any interesting trades happen this weekend. Uh, first, I don't I'll... think so. We're going to check it out first. Interesting trades. Of course, I removed Oxy from the trade block, but she may... I mean, uh, Suicune is still up there, you know, for all those people who are interested. And of course, we did have one trade happen over this weekend. Uh, Rotom, Rotom Fan was traded for Wobbuffet. Wobbuffet, not really the best mod in the counter team format. Uh, Rotom Fan was a better uh, choice for him. We could potentially air, yeah. slash, air slash some opponents to Oblivion uh, with that pick. We're going to move right along to the league table. We're going to look at where the uh, playoffs are shaping up to look like. Uh, now, now it's been six weeks, uh, the teams are shaping up and the positions in the playoffs are at stake now. Uh, can you tell me who you think is potentially eliminated? It's kind of obvious, but uh, I definitely feel yeah, like Jet, um, Jets is eliminated at this point from the playoff yeah, contention. Well, yeah, pretty much. Unless he goes on a winning streak on every single game. Yeah, I feel like he'd have to get a 5-0 or 6-0 every week. And I can tell you, it's going to be tough to get a 5-0 or 6-0 against me, even if he does bring foul play this week. Uh, against me, but anyway, besides the point, uh, definitely feel like Vancouver Venusaurs are in that kind of position as well. Where it's starting to like if they don't win this week or next week, I think they're out. Yeah, definitely. And then a uh, Hunch Crows aren't sitting too comfortably either, being two games behind the third place spot. That's a pretty uh big difference. I feel like in um yeah seating being back by For two it games. For Jay, in order to get there, they I would need to lose, and Allen and and uh, yeah, and Jay would need to win. Yeah. Which I face him this week, so that could happen. <laughs> but it's not, so don't even be thinking it, Jay. You're gonna lose. <laughs> yeah. You should just forfeit now and and don't get embarrassed by it. Oh my God, he's talking trash, man. Uh, hashtag Jay not for playoffs. Yeah. Uh, of course. Uh. All right. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna go right trash into this. We're gonna go into this match, which 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 uh, which Galade and I and I thought was it was the best match of this week, and we're gonna talk about it. Be it ready or not, folks, we're talking about it, starting right hey, now. Your match was the best match of the week. Yeah, it was, no, it wasn't. I'm sorry. Your yeah. match was all stall. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, you got me there, man. All right, uh, so Mega Agron's gonna lead out, and it's gonna take a flamethrower to the face. Not going to want to take that. Not going to want to stay in. He's going to get his rocks up, though. The Vault Switch. Nice play there. Uh, switching out. Getting the Switch initiative. He's going out into his Kecleon now. Kecleon. Pretty um, 
good uh, wall breaker in this kind of format. Getting all, I'm say, every all I have to say is it's choppy for me. <laughs> I'm just going to switch out into his landers. His triple in his I'm just going to say guess what's happening. <laughs> his triple okay. intimidate core, very scary. Yeah, it's very annoying. Like, there's no point in bringing in physical attackers. Yeah, I learned my lesson the hard way against Allen, so that's going to be tough. I feel like if I didn't bring any physical uh, attackers, I might have had a better chance. Even though it was a 1-0 uh, for him, it was still not as close as a uh, match throughout. But anyway, that's besides the point. Let's get right back to this match. They missed a Stone Edge and a Draco. Kind of interesting. They didn't get to crit. Kind of like, interesting Honestly, right they should have stayed in and Dracoed. Yeah, but he gets intimidated off, so that sword stance just kind of went out the window right there. And then imagine if a Generator, a.k.a. Allen, had a Salamence as well, another Intimidate user. That would be a very scary team, for sure. Yes, it would. It would be intimidating, if I would say the, say the least. He's going to go for Rock Polish, so this is a Double Dance uh, Lander set. But, right here, this play that Jay's about to do, I do not agree with. I would have swapped out into Agron or Medichen. Yeah, I thought he would have the seismic toss right there. I didn't think the counter yeah. would be the best play. If, even like if, was, is, if Lando would have like, went for a superpower there, which I know they carry sometimes, uh, it, it would be an Oko. Yeah, it would have Oko to Chansey. So that was kind of an interesting call right there. Uh, the Stone Age is just he's just switching around, trying to avoid being hit by a super effective move at this point, trying to uh, dwindle down the toxic damage. Kind of an understandable uh, reasoning for Jay. But he's going to miss the Aqua Tail. doesn't matter at all. 0% matter because he can go down the poison next turn. Which is a relief for yeah. Jay, because Jay really had nothing to deal with that unless he had like Ice Punch on Scarf, uh, but it, 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 it went out speed. Yeah, it went out speed, so it's all good. And then uh, he's going to Vault Switch out of there. He's going to go into Gardevoir, which Gardevoir has done really well with um, Jay with uh, for Al uh, Alan this year, this whole season. Yeah, he's been playing. He's been playing it nicely. Like I, I don't know who have, uh, he played. Yeah, but he definitely uh, does play very interestingly uh, with the yeah. Gardevoir. Like, he was playing against Jay last time, and Jay brought a Pixelite uh, Gardevoir. And he took the Pixelite with Gardevoir. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Uh, he's going to go for the Leaf Blade. Going to take out the uh, Gardevoir. Kind of uh, not so good on the physical side. And then this play right here, the Leaf Blade onto the Green Lantern. Uh, that was a very... Very big play because uh, yeah, Leaf Blade after still, mass. Leaf Blade still had some viability. I I don't know what set it was running. I'm sorry if it showed something, but uh, I didn't see it. So he's gonna go out into his Capleon here, who's gonna hit him with a I Drain think, Punch. I think he was running a Subseed set with SD. Oh, that that could have that could have been pretty helpful moving in. Yeah. Uh, maybe not so much against Scarf Curum and whatnot that would have came in. Unless he had a sub up and then he went for like a close combat. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. But uh, that ice punch is very little. Uh, I don't know if I would have with the uh, without the uh, the uh, attack uh, minus. So that's kind of interesting. If that ice punch would have Oko'd. But probably not. That. Check it was only base ninety. So yeah, it might have been close though, because uh, of course the stab. So he's gonna go out and do his uh, cure him here. Cure him. Just gonna let the pressure out. He's gonna go for the ice beam. He's gonna take out that Salamance. I would have swapped into Blissey. As of now, I was thinking, you know, Medicham can still sweep, but I was uh, surprised to know that actually Kyurem was scarfed, and it was carrying the uh, Shadow Ball to handle the care the Medicham, so it wouldn't have mattered in the end. Uh, yeah. yeah. And plus, uh, Kyurem does outspeed Medicham, no matter what. So either way, it Did was a ran like salt in the wound. Yeah, either way, it was a loss uh, loss for Jay there. Pretty big loss for him, actually. Kind of, uh, kind of a crucial Probably, match for him. Yeah, it kind of almost kicked, pretty much almost kicked him out of the playoff potential. All right, guys. If you like what you saw here, uh, please leave a like in the comments section below. Uh, that's going to be it for today. Thank you for joining us for the Hashtag IPSL. Hashtag Jay, not for the playoffs in the comments section. All right. Thank you for joining us in the IPSL Week 6 slash Week 7 preview. See you next week. My match will be up, of course, Friday slash Saturday, depending on when we have the match. And that's going to be it for today. Peace, guys.